but the consequences of destroying contract work are enormous. These workers are fulfilling jobs that cannot be filled by ordinary workers, including jobs that are one-offs. They are occupying niches within society. Will we see a drop of productivity if Labor interferes in this contract job market? And will there, like, where will all of these workers go? Because these are not people whose lives are going to easily be transferred into a nine to five job. Well, understand the actual demographics of this. There's about, according to the, um, so there's 1.2 million self-employed people. Uh, uh, of that 1.2 million, uh, about 900,000 or more uh, only work for themselves. They don't employ anyone. The Victorian government inquiry into the gig economy said there's about 830,000 people in Australia who are involved in the gig economy. So gig is pretty simple. Here's a job, go and do it. Everyone is very familiar with a gig um, because every time you go to a pub, you've gone to a gig. Bang gets paid, there's a gig. So this is something that's been around for a long time. Uh, barristers are gig workers. Sex workers are gig workers. And one of the things that's terribly important about this is that we as the gig worker, as self-employed, control our contract. We are in control of the work that we do, when we do it, how we do it, where we do it, and so on and so forth. So what they're doing is saying, look, no, that's all Ill illegitimate. We're going to take that away from you. And what they're imposing is a model of work which is very unitary, that if you don't have full-time employment, you are involved in Ill illegitimate work. So come back to the 830,000 people who are involved in gig, 0.19% of people in the workforce, 0.19% do gig as their full-time job. Gig work for the vast bulk, the overriding bulk of people involved is top-up income. It's a, a, a grandfather, grey hair like myself, who picks up their grandchildren from school and then goes out and does some Uber right driving, um, stops off the following day to play golf in the morning and then does Uber in the afternoon. It'll be people who are uh, looking to top up their income with increasing mortgages. So this is overwhelmingly people doing top up income. And it's not just an issue of productivity because this makes our economy work better but it's about money in people's pockets. Well, I was going to be taken away. From I was going to say these are people who have made and taken an active role in their lives, making sure they're earning their own money and they're not relying on public money. Now, if the government makes it very difficult for, as you say, the grandfather to go and drive an Uber car in the afternoon, well, they're just going to fall back on the public purse because they're not going to go and get themselves hired in a taxi company for for full time work. It's not going to happen. It's it's taking out choices and the ability for people to make a living during a financial crisis. It seems to me absolutely incredible that any government staring down the abyss of enormous debt and rising inflation is going to sit there and say, you know what, we're going to make it harder for Australians to earn a living. That's going to be our primary economic plan. And, it, and, and let's take it a step further. These are the sort of decisions that a government makes, which really subconsciously they are saying, we would prefer you to be poor. Instead of doing a form of work that we think is illegitimate and that we've made a social uh, decision that this, you shouldn't be doing this and you should be involved in the union movement and so forth, what they're really doing is a poverty creation exercise, little bit at a time. You just whittle away and you prevent people from earning income, you prevent people from doing interesting things, you prevent them from going out. And the way that this is achieved through a, a, an agenda is, is it's the salami tactics, little bit at a time, slice by slice, just chop away at this sort of thing over a period of time. And what happens is people in a society get to a point where they go, how did we get here? We didn't think this was happening. So this is the sort of thing that, that, that is being involved with. And, and this is their agenda.